Hello, I'm Richard Holden, Minister for Roads and Local Transport, and today I'm launching the Freight Innovation Fund competition. Freight and logistics are critical to our economic well-being. Every day we consume goods transported into and across the country by a world-class freight and logistics system, but we can't stand still. To grow our economy, increase productivity and achieve net zero, the industry must continuously improve. That's why last year with industry partners, we published the first long-term plan for freight and logistics covering road, rail, sea and air. The Future of Freight plan seeks a cost-efficient, reliable, resilient and environmentally sustainable freight and logistics sector. One of these objectives is driving innovation in order to boost economic growth, productivity and resilience and to create skilled jobs here in the UK. That's why I'm thrilled to launch the £7 million Freight Innovation Fund today. Over three years, the fund will directly support efforts to put innovative technologies to work, including to meet the significant challenge of achieving net zero freight. Up to 36 small and medium-sized enterprises will receive grants and expert support. This will enable them to not only try out new technologies, but also achieve the scale for commercial use. This has the potential to unlock huge efficiencies and reduce the amount of damaging carbon emissions that are a byproduct of moving goods around the country. The Freight Innovation Fund sits alongside the Transport Innovation Grant, which in successive years has provided early stage capital funding to freight innovators to take those first difficult steps. I'm optimistic that this end-to-end -end funding for innovation in freight will ensure that good ideas do not fall before they can hit the market. I'm confident because I've seen the quality of the innovation funded previously through our transport research and innovation grants, including hypermiles development of an AI that helped HGV drivers to save fuel or the CGA simulators creation of a new tool to aid in the development of infrastructure. UK industry has proven that it has what it takes to bring innovation solutions to the table. And I'm sure that this time around will not be any different. I, everyone else in the Department of Transport, and of course, our friends in the Connected Places Catapult, look forward to seeing how these things develop over the next three years. And we look forward, as always, to working closely with industry to build a stronger, more resilient UK. Thank you, and good luck.